Hi, this is Mike Dewar from thebarbellceo.com. Um, so today we're going to show you some quick little tips that you can do to help boost your SEO score, uh, which is your search engine optimization. So pretty much on the back end with every website, uh, major search engines like Google and Bing will uh, use certain data and information collected from your site that will help you rank higher when somebody searches for a keyword that is specific to you. So for instance, the Barbell CEO um, it's a website geared for fitness entrepreneurs, uh, fitness business owners trying to develop their personal brands and develop that lifestyle. So my keywords right, are going to be fitness, business, blogging, um, we have personal branding, lifestyle, uh, and all those I want to try and tie into what I'm doing uh, on my website. And we're going to show you some tips that you can use to really uh, come up better in your search engines. So, what we're going to show you here is I'm on my main uh, website here, which is through Squarespace. Uh, I'm also going to show you through J2Fit also, which is hosted on WordPress. That's my um, my strength conditioning brand here in New York City. So first and foremost, when you see here, every page that you have has a title and a header. So when you go into your pages and you've built stuff out, um, we're going to look just at the home page. So if you click this wheel, if you have a Squarespace, stick with me. If not, I'm going to show you the WordPress also. but uh, Squarespace and WordPress both use SEO uh, very well. Squarespace is new to the scene um, and it's doing a pretty good job with staying updated. So, what you can do here is your home, this is your navigation title, so this is what the person is going to see. The page title, however, you want to really figure out what are your hot topic words, and I'll show you a quick little way to do that at the end, and you can also see your scoring and play with it. Um, so you really want to go through, write something catchy, and then in your description, this is what's going to show up when somebody would type in the Barbell CEO on Google. Um, they're going to get that, and then underneath, you've seen it where it has uh, the description. So once again, if you can have these hot words, for me, it's fitness, business, brand, an entrepreneur, blog. We want to have that throughout the site here so that you can start to have some overlap in the uh, search engines will start to recognize what's going on there. So that's your first tip there, which is going to be just making sure that your page headers, uh, pay, I mean page titles, and your descriptions are all filled out. And you'd be surprised with, you know, like when I first started and, for instance, my story. I had my story and that was it. But what happens here is, once again, fitness, business, brand, and you have all that integrated and it's just a lot of overlap and the search engines will start to pick that up. So, the second tip here I'm going to give you is when you post an uh, image file, and I wasn't doing this either, uh, I didn't realize that the file name is also something that the, the search engine gods will look at. So, when you are going and you're uploading an image here onto your um, page, so for instance, this is a free ebook I'm doing here how to develop a personal brand. Um, However, when I uploaded it, I didn't really fill out the, uh, the file name. So what you're going to go through here is you can see it's empty. So something.jpg. So essentially what happens when you've ever used Google and you've clicked images, or you've seen images on Pinterest, whatever it is, um, the file name is what it's recognized as by the search engine. So if there's once again uh, personal branding, you know, business basics, social media, Wherever it is, you want to make sure you put it in here, and you want to do that for all your images. That way, it just has a lot more overlap, and it always gets tied back to your site, and then the Google gods say, hey, you know what? We're going to put this guy up higher in the list. So for instance here, I'm going to put um, fitness, business, and you obviously have to use the coding, branding, blueprint. There you go. So that's that, and we'll save that guy. And that's all you need to do there. So once again, make sure that your images throughout the website have a file name that is directed to certain keywords. Um, so while we're going to go through here, I'm just going to show you how you would do it on WordPress if you had it. Uh, you want to look at your home page. So quick little ways here, um, SEO description, keywords, title. You can very easily just edit it right from here and lock it down. You can also edit it by going into the actual edit page and if you scroll down to the bottom here I have some custom coding so but I can manipulate down through here 
and you're going to see this is what it would look like, right? You're online, blah, blah, blah. This is what we're looking at. So if I was to change this, and now let's say, uh, boom. And now that's what it is your source for custom online fitness and exercise programs, which is a hot topic for us New York City based personal training services and training gear. We do training recommendations um, when we have our Amazon and, and uh, Reebok account. So that's how we do it. But those are the big things. So when somebody goes and they search in New York City personal trainers, we want to make sure that that's overlapping throughout our site. So what you would do there is you would go through it and you would just simply update it. And you'd be surprised at how much um, people don't do this, especially me when we started. We had 30 pages on our site. And we did not do any of this SEO coding because it was extra work and it's redundant. But you need to be doing this because it will help you turn up in a, a, G, or a Google uh, search engines. So you can see like some of these are drafted. We have our approach page. Um, you know, like these are free workout plans. You can go through and do all of this. And the same thing when you upload an image, make sure you're doing it on that. So if we go back here, another thing that you want to do is you want to link your social media, right? You want to give people an opportunity to share your links, backlink it, sh uh, share all the images, because once again, the Google gods will recognize that that is traced back to you. So when you go through here, if you're on this um, and you're on your Squarespace, you want to make sure you go to your settings. You want to make sure that you go to your, uh, let's see where it's at here, marketing. And you're going to go uh, put your share buttons right on there. Link everything up. All right? Make sure it's on there. And then that way people have the opportunity to do that. Uh, while we're on it also, you want to look at linking connecting accounts. So you want to make sure you're connecting you know, all the major accounts here. Because what happens is when you publish something or when you want to share it, it directly goes into all of the Twitter feeds and it recognizes what's going on and it pumps it out there. Once again, you're spreading your URL around the world. Great content will get shared, and that way it will get back to your site. Um, while we're also in here, back to your marketing, your fourth tip here is going to be marketing SEO. And this is something that you kind of do with your pages, but we want to make sure that your search engine, optimi or, uh, search engine description, the SEO uh, optimization here, is going to be spot on because this is the keywords that's going to come up and people are going to hit this and they're going to go bam. All right. So you want to make sure that you have something clear here that just so happens that it's also the same uh, homepage title and description that I have. So that's that. Um, and if you were going to do that onto your um, pages here, what you would do is with the social media, there's a lot of great plugins that you can download. You can have the sharing buttons. Um, you know, you can go through plugins here, oh, yeah, here, and you can add new plugins. You can search them and go through all kinds of great stuff. And it's, you know, the world is crazy. You Google the best social media plugins, and that's what you're going to get. And you'll get a bunch of them. And you can just put them in there. So, from that, the last uh, little tip here I want to give you with what you're doing is you want to make sure that you're connecting your region and your language and basic information. So, you know, when I set this up, I was way off somewhere else. You want to put in the right time zone because you want to have that overlap and you want to have Google think that you are, are a real person, which you are. Um, your basic information needs to be throughout there, right? So you have the, select the business type, if you're on Squarespace, business, whatever. Your site description, once again, needs to be similar and have the same similar focus. You can see it's a bit redundant here, but that's the idea is to be able to have a lot of Keywords that are trending over and over and over, and then the uh, Google and the Bing's and the search engines can start to index your site better. And that's all we have for today. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you head over to thebarbellceo.com, and you can hit the subscribe button way up here, and you guys can join the Barbell CEO Club, where you'll get all the top and latest newsletters from the blog, video tutorials from our YouTube channels and specialized content to help you guys build your fitness brand and business. Thanks, and have a great day.